Robert and Morgan, that is. Ah, quintessential emergency Beano weather. It's a quarter past six in the morning and it's Tuesday 20th September 2011. And this is no Indian summer. I'm heading towards the Willows. And maybe see if I can get another pub in as well. Yeah. Where did the summer we didn't have go? Be able to hear the rugby in the background, it's Russia, Italy. Um, this is from Cottage Brewing Metropolitan Ale, it says hopefully 4.7% alcohol by volume. Nice head, uh, amberish, I suppose. First of the day. Ooh, very lemony. Citrusy lemony. Not much in the way of body fat. Not too bitter. Hmm, quite like that. That's a sort of almost B plus. Give B plus it. Well, the Italians are beating the Russians. Who'd have thought? This is Dragon Slayer, bank number two. And Banks and Taylor, 4.5% alcohol by volume. Sort of golden colour. Nice head. Slightly <laughs> creamy. This has sort of got a mixed citrusy, orangey peel taste. And a big aftertaste. Not bad actually. Mm. It goes on actually the aftertaste. It's nice. That's another B plus. Easily. I don't be asleep. But I enjoy sleep. And this is number three. And I was all so close to the new reduced alcohol version of Old Speckled Hen. But the barrel ran out. So this is Western Glory from Cottage Brewing. 4.7% alcohol by volume, which I've had before. And that's a... Opaque ale. And it's not citrusy. Wow. Yeah, it is a little bit. That's a beat plus. And that's a nice drinking, gentle, after bitter citrusy ale. Hold on, Courtney. 